In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a 40 foot quick fix dent repair using a suction cut. Yeah, my son uh, backed into a tree and the dent actually gets into where his, uh, f his flare's at, his fender flare. And so there's a big uh, dent there, so his fender flare don't fit up, and there's a big gap there. And we're just trying to fix it, you know, to look better. We're not trying to make this perfect, we're just wanting it to look better. And that's why we're calling it a 40 foot fix, quick fix. Because from 40 foot away, it's going to look good. But you get closer, you know, it's not going to be perfect, and we know that. But I do have a trick for you. A lot of people make mistakes. Is they'll use one of those suction cups, pop it out. Unfortunately, a lot of them will just pop right back in. You know, you barely touch it or lean on it, and it locks back in. Well, I'm going to show you how to relax that metal to pull it out easier, and then to lock it, you know, so it doesn't push back in. Okay, so anytime there's a dent, there's highs. And that's what we need to concentrate on. And I just kind of pointed, especially at the top, it's kind of where the, the eyebrow or the crown, some people call them. We need to concentrate on those areas before we start pulling on it. We want to kind of relieve those areas and hammer on it. And what that's going to do is kind of, kind of vibrate the metal, help it relax to where it goes back to where its original shape. You know, metal has a memory and it wants to uh, go back to its original shape. We just got to help it out. So uh, be sure and don't skip this step. If you do, you're just going to, you might, you could probably pull the dent out with a suction cup. But as soon as you pull it out, you barely touch it or someone leans on it, it's just going to pop back in. So this is the trick and the most important step is to be sure, locate those high areas. And you can kind of see where I pointed. And what I'm doing is hammering. Now I've got this turned down because there's lawn mowers going on, a lot of noise. But uh I probably am hitting a little bit harder than you think. You don't want to hit too hard. You don't want to dent the metal. And I'm using a, a microfiber towel to kind of protect the metal. You could put tape over the hammer head, you know, just to help keep it from denting it. And uh, so I've kind of went around, I've relaxed the metal, and now I've got him to put the uh, suction cup on. And I'm going to continue hitting that metal, and then I'm going to have him put a little bit of pressure on that. And what I'm doing, I'm hitting right on the top of where that crown was or that eyebrow it kind of push the body line up because if you don't do that you know it's uh, it's not going to really uh, pull out near as easy so he pulled some out and now we're going down a little bit we kind of started right there we had that crown and we're moving down towards the center of the dent which is a little bit lower the bigger portion of the dent you always kind of want to work from the outside and you kind of work towards the inside so now we've moved it down and I'm stress relieving again to kind of vibrate that metal and uh, as I do that, he's pulling on it, and that's helping uh, get that dent out. If you didn't hammer on that, you know, those, those eyebrows, those highs would stay there, and you'd just pop it out. And, uh, and so now we're moving down and still just kind of hammering. I'm concentrating on those areas, and he's pulling on it. And now that the majority of the dent is pulled out, we're actually locking the metal. As he's pulling out, we're still hitting on those high areas, and that is now uh, kind of locking it back in place where it should be. And if you didn't do that, it would still pop in and out real easy. You know, it's kind of called the oil can effect, where you just barely top pop it and it pushes all the way back in. So again, it's very important. Uh, most people don't do this, they just try to pop it out. But unfortunately, like I said, it will pop back in. So be sure, and, and you can, you know, you want to be careful. Make sure you use your hammerhead and it's hitting flat on the surface that you're not putting dents on it. Um, and be careful. Always brace yourself, you know, if you're pulling, that, you know, you got yourself, you see he did catch itself. But don't uh, uh, be pulling too hard and not be paying attention if, if that thing pops off. And that's with any type of dent pull. Now it looks like it's pretty strong, pretty locked in place, except right there. So we need to do something with that. So all everything else, but right here, we're going to work on that. And that's where that main um, crown was at, that eyebrow that just lifted the body line up. So now he's got some pressure on it, and I'm hitting a little bit harder just to try to knock that down and lock that in place. And once I do that, it should be stiffer. And if you touch it or lean on it, you know, it's not going to pop in on you or anything like that. And before any haters get on here, uh, like I said, we are not trying to get this perfect. Uh, I know PDR, you could get this perfect. You could use some pull tabs to finish it out, some PDR tools, but we're not wanting to spend that much time on this. This is just a quick fix, make it look better. We got other projects to work on. So we're just uh, trying to make it look better. And you can see here, you can still see that little bit of a high right there, and there is a little bit of a low, and there's some other dents in the panel. But we do got it where this uh, flare fits better. You know, it will not have that yeah, gap there now when we push it up and, and tighten it back up. So that was the main point of this. And it looks a heck of a lot better than it did. So that, that was our only, uh, that was our goal for this. You know, just a quick fix, you know, five, ten minute 
uh, fix to, to make it look better from 40 feet away. And you can see there's still some spots there. Like I said, we could use glue tabs on that to really make that look better, but maybe later we'll do that when we have more time. But after pulling it out and locking it in place, this is what it looked like before, and this is what it looked like after. 40 feet away, it'll look good. And that, my friends, is how you do a 40 foot quick fix dent repair. If you like this video, be sure and uh, give us a thumbs up, subscribe. Thanks for watching, take care, and we'll see you in the next video.